This is incredible, guys. We've taught these AIs how to actually dodge the ninja stars. These ninjas are crazy. Have a look at this. They literally know how to dodge everything. Look at that. A whole bunch of these AIs, all completely different AIs, they've taught themselves how to dodge these projectiles. You can see there's a fair few of them who get hit, but most of them are actually able to dodge. As you can see, they're literally self-taught. They go along and they dodge the projectiles. They literally jump around the ninja stars. That is awesome. If you guys want to see how we taught these ninjas to dodge and learn all about the process that goes into this, then this is the perfect video for you. We're going to show you just how to train these AIs. And we've got a browser-based version of this that you can try right now. There's a link in the video description. You can try it inside of your browser. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of AI with Ash47. I'm your host, Ash47, and today we're going to do some ninja training. This ninja training simulator is available right now on my GitHub. There's a link in the video description if you want to play with this. But this is a really cool tool. It lets you train ninjas to dodge ninja stars. I'm going to walk you through how that works. The first thing we need to do, jump into this box here. How many ninjas do you want to train with? We're going to pick a number like, say, 1000. The more ninjas that you train with, the faster it's going to learn. However, the more ninjas there are, the laggier it's going to get. So depending on how powerful your computer is, you might have more or less ninjas. I'd recommend something like, say, 250, but again, depends on how powerful your computer is. Let's jump right in. Here's our simulation. So there's 1,000 ninjas. They're all running next to each other. There are, in fact, 1,000 there. There we go, straight away. Now they're actually moving around kind of randomly. Now the way this training actually works, it's broken into two modes. There's an automatic training mode, which is what it's doing right now and there's a manual training mode. So if you move your mouse on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see my cursor is over here, it's automatically going to train. So in other words, it's automatically going to throw ninja stars. If I move my cursor to the right-hand side of the screen, it's going to stop automatically throwing them and it's going to allow me to manually throw them. Now, it looks like we've been pretty lucky here when we've got someone who's actually pretty decent. So let's go ahead and show you that. If I move, see so it's on the right-hand side now, I can just start throwing stars. There we go, just throw one over there. Depending on how you throw them, they're going to learn different things. So if you keep throwing at the same spot, they're going to learn to dodge that spot, which I think is pretty cool. So you need to kind of spread them around to train it. Personally, I like just holding the cursor on the left-hand side to train these guys. They learn pretty well, pretty fast. Now let's talk about how the training actually works. If you look at the very top here, we have the important information. So the generation number. Generation, every time all of the AIs have died, it goes on to the next generation, and hopefully they're a little bit smarter. So this is the seventh generation. Once it starts to get to the really high number generations, we should be seeing some really cool stuff. Up next over to the right here, we have the inputs. So as you can see, there's four pieces of information being fed to these ninjas. Now, every single one of these ninjas gets a different kind of information. We're just showing the information of the rightmost ninja that's like currently alive. So the first piece of information here that you actually get, this is actually the height difference of the ninja star that's the closest. So for example, if it's a ninja star right at the feet, then it'll be a height difference of zero. If there's a ninja star above them, it'll be a negative number. And if it's below if it's below them, it'll go to a positive number. And that number changes based on how far away it is. So based on how far the magnitude of the difference is. Now the next number we have is actually their velocity. So their velocity is basically how fast up and down they're moving. So as you can see, they get some really high velocities there. In theory, it shouldn't become more than negative one or one, but these guys are pretty crazy. As you can see, they move really fast. The next thing they have is actually their gravity. So their gravity is, well, as you can see, they literally control their gravity. So you can see these guys going crazy up and down. That's basically them playing with their gravity. And then finally, the last number we have here is the distance from the next ninja star. One would be all the way to the right, and then zero would be basically touching them. So from these four inputs, they have to determine one output. Their one output that they have to determine is how much gravity they want to be applied. So they can basically return a value between negative one and one. And from that, the gravity will change and they'll fly up or down in the air, which I reckon is pretty cool. Now these guys, they get one point for every ninja star that actually gets passed. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll leave these guys to train for a bit, we'll put it on really fast, and we'll come back and see what's happened. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some AI training. Alright, that is pretty awesome. So that's only been 22 generations. Oh man, just as I start talking, they die. But you did see they were actually working incredibly well. So it was 22 generations and they started to get pretty close to the answer. So they actually can do really, really good dodging. As you can see, now a whole bunch of these guys, a larger chunk of the generation, have actually figured out the whole dodging thing. 
there's two of them that are doing really well. As you can see, they basically jump, they toggle between the two gravities to try and avoid these things. That is really awesome. So, one of the cool things we can actually do with this particular AI simulator, we can actually save and import the AIs. So if you see on the right hand side here, there's actually a button, which is export AI. It's going to export to this little box here. Go ahead and press Ctrl C to copy that. Awesome. I've now exported the AI. If I press F5, we're going to be back to this training simulator thing. Let's just go 250 AIs and let's go import AI brain. Go ahead and paste in what we just had. Import and now there's 250 running on the AI. And as you can see, they didn't do that well. That's fine. Now all of these are based on that one that was actually doing all the dodging. So hopefully... Okay. That's interesting. So they should have been based on the one that was actually doing incredibly well. But, unfortunately, things don't always work out as we planned. And, okay, so they're kind of there. It's very similar. So if you export the AI, it's not going to be exactly the same. I'm going to see if I can get that fixed up. That's interesting. Okay, looks like code doesn't always work as expected. That's fine. That was the first time I've tried that function. Alright, that's fine. Let's just sit back and we'll let the AI get really good again. Alright guys, we're about 30 generations in now, they're doing pretty decent, like dodging 94 of those is pretty solid. All we're going to do, let's just go ahead and try some manual training. So it seems like a lot of the times they die, is they die because of the top. I'm going to shoot a whole bunch of the top, and I'm going to see if I can teach these guys to avoid the top. So get them to move up there, there we go, wipe those guys out. Oh no, let's barely hit them. We can just barely hit these guys, come on, there you go. They're gone. Oh, this guy. This guy's a bit tricky. There we go. We got him. Take out the entire wave here. Means I can just shooting like this. Nice. Just take out stragglers. There we go. Looks like a lot of them are successfully dodging. Not quite all of them. It's kind of fun actually just shooting these guys and seeing how they learn. I wouldn't mind doing a full experiment of me shooting these to see if I can take them out. Oh yeah, no, these ones are actually dodging pretty decently. See if I can throw some tricks. There we go. We got him. That's what we like to see here. Let's keep smashing these guys. Shoot some from the right here. Here we go. Yeah, that's it, that's it. They're learning, they're learning. Slowly. I like the ones that just bounce around. Those are awesome. Some of them go really fast. I like that as well. Go down the bottom. See, a lot of them, a lot of them are dodging. Not quite all of them though. See, the thing with the AI is, we have what's called the elitism factor. The elitism factor, I think it's set to about 20% now. But what that means is, the top 20% are actually kept and carried straight through to the next round. So, after that, we have some randomly generated children. So the interesting thing about that, is that you're going to get some, if you have successful ones like this, you'll get them in the next round. However, you're also guaranteed to get some more random ones. Here we go. These guys are doing pretty good. Oh yes, we'll just take those ones out. We need them to be exactly, there we go. Gotta figure out the sensitivity levels. Yes. Take out- whoa. If you shoot them like right in the head, tons of them drop out. Gotta shoot them in really obscure spots to train them. There we go. Shooting them right in the feet trains them really well. Oh, this guy. This guy, that guy's just lucky, honestly. Let's just shoot a whole bunch of the feet here. There we go. Gone. Oh yes. Take out the stragglers. Take out the stragglers. This is cool. Alright. So one thing I haven't actually mentioned here is this graph on the right hand side here, this thing here. You can actually drag this around, it's pretty cool. You'll be able to do this if you actually play with this tool. This graph is actually of the rightmost AI. So the AI, so this guy here, that's his brain. This represents his brain. Let's just put it back in automatic mode here. So if you want to see what their brains look like, on the right hand side that's what they look like. And it's kind of obvious now, but on the bottom there there's also a graph. It shows the performance of these guys. So what we're going to do, let's just leave this running for a little bit while longer on fast motion and we'll see if it gets a lot more successful over time.
Alright guys, I think at this stage we've got an AI that works pretty decently. It's only been 42 generations. Can you imagine if you ran this thing through say a thousand generations? Like if you just ran this running overnight, the thing would probably get like damn amazing. But I think it's gotten to a stage now where we probably can't kill it from the right hand side. No matter what I do, I probably can't actually get it. So that's pretty awesome. As you can see, it was a, that was the entire training session. That was really quick. I'm quite impressed by this. Now hopefully you guys are impressed as well. If you guys are impressed and you did enjoy this, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more AI from us in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Now guys, if you do want to try this out, there is a link in the video description. You can actually try and train this thing. Hopefully I'll fix up that export functionality that you guys saw, and then you guys can share some of the AIs you've created with us. We'd love to see AIs that you guys create. To see if you can train it the best. I think that's pretty cool. Now we are pretty much going to wrap the video up there. Now we'll leave the AI running for a little while longer, so that you guys can actually see some more training. People, you can actually watch it as it goes. And like I said, if you guys want to try this out for yourself, there's a link in the video description. You can play with the tool. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.